Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to create um, lines showing the minimum value and the maximum value. So for example, you uh, sometimes might want to uh, see how uh, you're trending vis-a-vis -vis the lowest value or the highest value. And uh, you could basically just create a line in your graph to see how the minimum value is and maximum value is and where you stand at uh, any particular point in time with respect to those values. So in the previous video, we learned uh, how to create the trending chart and you can view that uh, video looking at the video notes. I've got a link there to the previous video and I'll also upload this file in the into GitHub repository and leave a link to this in the video notes. So you can download this file and do the tutorial along with me. So I've already got the trend line from previous video. All I'll do is I'll just put it into focus mode and what we'll do is we will uh, uh, set up the minimum and the maximum value. So what we've done is essentially taken the line chart. So some of these analytics features are not available in all the visuals. Uh, so uh, yeah, you just have to explore for yourself. So uh, with this line uh, chart selected, I'll just go into the analytics pane, which is here. So the third one next to the formatting tab. And uh, what I'll do is um, it's giving me the option to create a min line. So all I need to do is go ahead and add the min line. And you can see it's created the minimum line. And I'll just color it as red. And you can see, let's so let's just go down a level. Um, let me just go up a level. Go down. So you, you can see that it is showing us the sales for the... So in January, we have had the lowest sales and that's what the value is. And you can go down another level. And you can see that it's still pointing to that. But what it's done is it's... Um, quarter one so it's and then you move down one more level and you can see that it is showing uh, the sales value by day so um, that's an interesting one so let's just move up a level and now what we'll do is we'll add a line for the maximum value which is also fairly simple all you need to do is click add and then I'll just format it a bit I'll just make it um, this color and I'll reduce the transparency and now if we so you can see that the maximum value is uh, in 2013 where we've had the maximum sales and now if I go down level you can see that the maximum value value is in quarter four of 2013 we had great sales and you can click down another level and then you can see that uh, in December of quarter four, we've had a great sale. And then you let's just say you go down another level and it shows you days um, 27th of December, 28th of December, fairly close to Christmas or after Christmas, where you've had a, a fairly uh, strong spike in sales. So um, it's, it's you can see that as you drill up and drill down, this maximum and the minimum line uh, will change. And um, it just shows you uh, how you're trending or how your sale has been compared to your highest or the lowest benchmark. And then we've got the trend line here. So just that they give us uh, a fairly good idea as to where we are generally headed and how we're faring vis-a-vis -vis the highest and the lowest value. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, cheers, bye.